Is having your name in the book really getting you as many patients as you think? Stay tuned for this week's tip and we'll find out. So in this week's tip, we wanna go over is having your name in the book really getting you as many new patients as you think? I talk to a lot of doctors, a lot of doctors that are in network and I ask them because they know that their, count, their crown discount is sometimes 30, 40%. Why don't you drop the insurance? And one for one, their answer is, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose all these patients. Meaning that the patients are only coming in because you're in the book. Well, is that true? Let's find out. So what I want you to do this week, on your day off, we got plenty of time on the weekends. I want you to go back through your last month's new patients. Now, all of us should have a new patient intake form where on the form it says, how did you hear about the practice? When we go through all of these new patients, I want you to make a list of what they've written down. I will be shocked if the majority of those patients say the insurance company. When I owned dental practices, and when I talk to the clients here, when you ask them, what are they finding out? When people write, how'd you, answer, how'd you find out about this practice? Sometimes if you're marketing, it's your marketing efforts. But a lot of times I had word of mouth. I had my website. I had my Google listing. I had all the social proof aspects of marketing a dental practice that was not the dental insurance company. So if we're finding that out, then do you really need these insurance companies? Why don't we use the same amount of money that we're discounting to find fee-for-service patients? The only way you're gonna be comfortable doing that is finding out what's really happening. So I want you to go back to those new patient intake forms, find what they write in that slot, make a list, and if the majority of these patients are saying, something other than the insurance company's website, maybe you'd feel more comfortable getting out of insurances. You'd feel a lot more comfortable too if you knew how many patients you might lose from that insurance. And that's some basic analytics that you can do. We could do it for you. Uh, we have an insurance, a fees and plans analysis. I'll put the link in the bottom here and we can work on it together. We can find out exactly what it's costing you to be in network and how many patients you could potentially lose by getting out. But I think if we do this first step, how did you hear about us? It might make you feel more comfortable moving towards maybe dropping an insurance or two. We've had thousands of clients come through MGE in the past 34 years that we've been here. And we have helped many, many, many of them get out of dental insurance. And if we look at your discount on your fee for service versus your agreed upon amount, usually it's more than 30%. So your discount rate is exactly what you're willing to lose and still make the same amount, but have lower expenses. If I can reduce my production by 30% and still make the same amount of money, I will have less expenses. Most insurances are greater than a 30% discount. Meaning that if you're at 50%, that automatically we're gonna do better. And it's what we want. We wanna give the best to the patient and we should all get rewarded. So that's my tip for this week. Click the like button to subscribe if you want other tips in the future. And I look forward to seeing you back here for our next tip. Thanks.